hello and welcome. I am the suit and tie dip and shoe guy and this is a dry snuff review. This is the number two review of group number two. Uh, and as you just saw it will be of a silver dollar product. Silver dollar is a brand line put out by Toke UK for the North American market, or let me rephrase that, the U.S. market. I'm not quite sure if it is in Canada. So taking a look at the packaging, it is a five gram coin. Uh, it is unopened, as you can see. Pretty simple packaging wise, uh, you know, The tin is two pieces. It is a bottom lower and a silverish upper with a, let me take the plastic off it. So basically you just have one of these deals and the plastic comes off. It's a coin. I call them coins. It's a black lower that sits inside a silver upper you can see that hole there basically what you do is you turn it around until you find the opening and some point here we will find the opening it will happen sometime soon there it is <laughs> All right, you can actually sort of see the snuff in there. So basically, you just align the two holes. Now, with these, I do not keep the hole all the way open because this is made for the American market and they have took it upon themselves basically to make a coarser grind. Um, as such, it's a little rough going up the nose. Uh, it's not as rough as, let's say, railroad mills or something like that, but it's it's not the fine grind that you find with the English or German snuff. Definitely not the Germans because they're sort of a fluffy, soft tobacco. So that is a coin. You got the opening there that I have about halfway open, okay? But you just align those two holes. This black edge right here is textured and so is the up corner here edge all right so i'm going to knock a little bit of this out i've never had a cherry snuff before i'm not going to do a lot okay <laughs> i'm going to do a lot <laughs> all right I'm going to have the pause button on standby here because I I see sneezing in my very near future. Wow, that's a... Why is this thing not... Wow, I am having just all sorts of problems here. But you know what? In my defense, it is 2 o'clock in the morning. So, it's a medium brown. The light bleaches it a little bit. Smelling the product. It's sort of pointless smelling these beforehand, like the, the smell off the tin, because I'm about to smell it anyway, using it. I'm going to spread some of this out here. It looks like it's a medium moisture product. The grind looks all right. I mean, it, it's very fine. It's going to be finer than anything that you've come in contact with, most likely, if you're American. But that said, it doesn't quite feel that way when it goes up. I'm just trying to get these a larger bump to the uh, my good nostril. So that's what we're looking at. Here we go, cherry snuff. It 
tell you what, the, the silver dollar does have a kick to it. None of them are mentholated. <clears throat> so I'm guessing this is uh, uh, an immediate... The nicotine release when you take snuff up your nose is like real quick. You get a quick burn if the grind is too coarse. But then there's something like after that. And if it's menthol, it could be a menthol kick. But this stuff is not menthol. If it's not menthol, then it's, it's a like immediate nicotine absorption. And it, it can be quite strong and it does sometimes goofy things like uh, that review a number back where my fingers went all tingly. Uh, usually you'll hear my voice go a little sort of wonky like that. Okay. Well, as far as this stuff goes, I'm not even going to hit the pause button. Um, it's all right. And it, the, the silver dollars have a, a little bit of a, a burn going in. All right. And you got to be careful with them because they're the type of stuff that they're light enough because they're medium moisture, but they lean a little bit to the dry side. They're light enough, but the course is grind enough that it can hit you in the back of the throat. So you don't want to go crazy with it. There is a very, very subtle cherry essence, but it's not, it's it, definitely not overpowering. It actually, might be a little underpowering. It's, it's maybe lackluster might be the, it's not bad, I mean, if you could find these in your local shop, they're going to be much better than, let's say, uh, you know, something like that. This deserves a place itself, but I'm just not quite sure what place that is yet. Um, and you're definitely not going to find anything from a U.S. company besides vague suggestions of sweet. You're not going to find anything that's actually scented. This is cherry, but it is background enough and lackluster enough that I can't say if I didn't know that this can had cherry written on the front of it, if I would immediately realize this as such, okay? It's not like skull cherry. It's not skull cherry. It's not the black wild cherry Stoker's Chew. It's... I'm almost tempted to do a little more. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hit the pause button because I'm going to have to blow my nose. And then I'm going to do a little more and see if I can get a better better take on the smell. And I am back. So, I had a good blowout nose-wise and then I took a second helping of this and then I was sneezing out my mouth quite a bit because it really burned the second time. Sometimes, and this is why I bring this all up and why I've done this this way, it wasn't planned, but sometimes if you're stuffed up, especially this time of year, uh, you know, I'm going in and out of heat a lot. Uh, I'm not exactly sick, but nasal passage wise, I am a little stuffy. Um, I did that, I, I went I used it, I hit pause, I went and blew my nose because sometimes this time of year, it's better, it works better with a mentholated product, but sometimes you sort of need to do it once and then let that first use help get as much crap out of you as possible so you can get a better judge of what the scent, you know, is of the product and it is I, I do have a better sense of it now but it is still very underwhelming it's it's 
it's it's cherry but if we did a blind test of someone using this well see I've had it now so I would probably be able to pick it but had I not had it and if I didn't see the label and the thing I might I may guess it's cherry but it would be a guess if you if that makes any sense I would probably guess and I probably guess right but at the end of the day it would just be a guess I'd be guessing there's nothing stand out about it um, the only thing that it, that compares to this is sometimes cherry is a reoccurring theme in pipe tobacco now the cheaper ones it's real obvious that is cherry it's usually real goopy and it's pretty nasty actually the more expensive overseas pipe tobaccos they have the problem of um, smelling real good off the tin oh that's cherry that smells really good but then when you light it it doesn't translate into the smoke and that in a way is sort of what this is it it sounds like a really good idea and you get excited about it but then it doesn't really come up it doesn't translate out cherry sounds like a great idea it's going to be great no cherry actually turned out not to be the greatest idea not bad the reason this is in this second list is because for people which is basically everyone here in the united states this you actually or this brand at least you actually have a chance of coming across in a tobacco store you you may actually see this in in a local tobacco store and that's why it's on this list this list is more north american friendly american friendly beginner friendly and this isn't exactly i wouldn't suggest this overly for a beginner but it is definitely United States friendly in the fact that this is a product made solely for the United States. Tope makes this for the U.S. Okay, so it's not terrible. It does have a nice nicotine kick. I will give it that. It has a, it has a nicotine kick. Uh, and I have a feeling that was the same case with the vanilla version. And I have a feeling that is probably the whole line. Nicotine kick wise, it's there. Um, the f vanilla version that I did in the first group translated out better vanilla the scent translated better this not so much that said nothing really wrong with it except for moisture levels a little bit lower than it needs to be and the grind is a little coarser than it needs to be so it does burn a little going in and it could hit you in the back of the throat and the chances are if you take it too far in, even if it doesn't hit you in the back of the throat, you may get a drip. So that's 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 all there I need to say about it. It's all right, it's not great, but you may run into this. Depending on what it's priced at, it might be worth a try. All right, so this has been the Cherry Snuff from Silver Dollar Review in the five gram coin, all right? I am the Soon Tie Dip and Chew Guy. We are in break mode here from the pouch series, which is why I'm doing this right now. Tomorrow there will be a chew break, a chew review, and a standalone or standout product review as well before I go into the final leg of the pouches series, which is the Skull products, besides the Bandits, Mint and Wintergreen, which I've already done. Anyway, guys, I hope everyone is well. Do take care of yourselves and God bless.